<clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, everyone. We hope uh, you are ready for uh, the class. So just let us know if uh, we are audible properly. Uh, I hope we are clear. We started the class one minute early to just confirm the there's no buffering and everything is clear from your side and our side. Is everyone? So are we audible, guys? Can you hear us? Perfect, oh, okay. perfect. Great, great, great. So we can start right now. Great. Um, Hi, Education Academy, Azari Bak. Uh, we have already two questions. Uh, but before that, uh, we have a shout out from an anonymous. We're not going to give the name because the person asked not to. Uh, we got 501 donation. That's great. You're doing a great job. Um, hello, everyone. Yes, great, great. So uh, we have a question being asked already previously in the chat. Before you even start, the question was from, um, uh, I think, Asha. Asha she was yeah. asking, what is the difference between uh, want, want to. to do and wanted to do? Hmm. Want to do means right now. That is your current situation, right? Correct. And wanted to do means something in the past. But not necessarily it was over. So want to do is now and want to do is in the past. And we have one more question from Sonia. Mm -hmm. uh, how can I develop interest in reading books? Mm -hmm. And she wants us to suggest some names for short stories or comic book or mm -hmm. something like that. So uh, Sonia, in order to develop interest in reading, I suggest you to start reading an article in the newspaper. So mm -hmm. there is a newspaper. I don't want you to buy some books for that. Uh, buy a... Uh, a newspaper called Times or The Hindu or something, they have a center page only for articles related to normal life and, you know, uh, how can I develop myself and life-related questions. Start reading them because they'll be very connected to you because there are out of, uh, you know, real-life instances. Yes. Start from them. And when you feel like, you know, you can read at least two or three articles in a day, then eventually we'll turn to books then. Yes, so exactly, Preeti. Editorial. Start reading with yeah. the articles first. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to start with our previous class. We stopped in the middle. Uh, we were playing a game regarding... Uh, before uh, we do that, guys, two, three, 31 people and only 47 likes. Yes, please keep liking the stream so that we can uh, enjoy that as well. Um. Yes, um, Sanjika, I saw your question. We will definitely, um, Rani, you have a question about writing. Sanjika, we will definitely make a video on our personal life, maybe one day. Rani, you have a question about paragraph making. We'll answer that question as well. And we're just noting down. Somebody Rani. has a question on said and told. So we'll discuss all the questions. I'm making a note of them, but we'll have a small exercise for you guys. So let's jump to the exercise and we'll come back to this later. Yeah, we can start. Um, Okay, so our questions we'll answer later. I hope it is fine. We'll start with the exercise. Remember, if you get one question correct, so you give yourself 10 points. If you get incorrect, it's okay. So this is the question here. Good network today. Thank okay. you. So you, you speak English good and you speak English well. Is it A or B? Okay. We'll discuss the questions later. Let's see which one is the correct answer. You speak English good and you speak English well. Okay? So, uh, make note of your answer A or B. Yes, and... exactly. So, we'll ask you a question as well. Why? Don't just keep spamming. But yeah, you're right. We have a lot of answers with A and B. Most of them are B, I would say. Um... Yes. Okay. I'll show you the question again here. Okay. Now, why do you think B is the correct answer? You speak English well. Okay. A lot of people are saying you speak English Both well. Both are correct. Okay. No, no, no. Let me give you the right answer here. The correct answer is B. You speak English well is the correct answer. And the reason for that is Speaking is an activity, and that's why we need an adverb rather than adjective. Good is an adjective, okay? So speaking is an activity, that's why we need to use well. Yeah, so yeah, it seems right. That's also correct, right? Um, I don't like to read book. Please help me. Uh, book, so please. the thing is uh, about reading books, please start with articles. <laughs> okay, please start with articles. Yes, that's why. 
Uh, good is an adjective. Well is an adverb. Asha, it's correct. Uh, yes, lost. Pragati, that's correct. Um, yes, Rao will come up with the with the stuff of giving advices. Don't worry about that. Okay, so interviews. Uh, um, we already have made an interview uh, video. So let's jump to the next one. Next, next one is this one. This is very common in your interviews as well. I look forward to meet you. And I look, look forward, forward to, to meeting, meeting you. you. So let's see what's the correct answer, A or B. Are we getting the answers? OK, so here we have uh, Maria, the previous one was because of the well is considered an adverb, and good is an adjective, and speak is an activity. So we have to use an adverb. That's why. Uh, here is next one. I look forward to meet you and I look forward to meeting you. Okay, we have a lot of A, 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 A. Some of them are B. Most of them are A, B. Okay, a. the correct answer is actually, um, sorry to say that it's B. <laughs> I look forward to meeting you. A cannot be correct because it's an activity. So it's a continuity that you have to show that is meeting you. It's called um being parallel in the sentence so you say i look forward that means you're showing an activity in the future yes so you have to say look forward to meeting you an activity of the future has to be connected no um, so some of the people are saying that because everyone is saying a answer is correct no it's b it's a little <laughs> bit tricky <laughs> so a correct answer is b yes it, it's uh i hope it is clear so B is the correct answer here. This is tricky. Ash, can you show the next yeah. one? Yeah. So we we'll again lost. Shake, come on. Back up, you know. <laughs> you have to start answering correctly now. So we have the next one here. I like very much games. I like games very much. So I repeat, I like very much games. I like games very much. So what do you think is the correct answer, A or B? Sir, I like your mustaches. <laughs> okay, you. so let's see which is the correct answer, A or B, guys. I need answers. Come on. Come on. Let me show you the thing again. Can you show them? Ash? Yeah. So we are getting answers A, B, A, B, A, B. Mostly B, I would say. They're getting. So let's see what's the correct answer now. Sam, will you explain? Um, I like games very much is the correct answer because there's you have B to put the noun. The correct B is the correct answer. Let me show you. Here, I like games very much because you put the adjective later. Okay. Um, here, earlier you're putting the adjective first, so it's not clear what are you doing using the adjective for. That's why the B is the correct answer. Okay. Uh, first one is incorrect. So, no. So, guys, let us know what is your score out of 30. Okay. This is interesting. I'll, I'll, uh, how yes. Much, yes. How B is much correct did you answer. score? So already some people are getting 20. I um, am winning, yes. Yes, you're winning, Mr. Uh, I like Blake. games very much. <laughs> okay. Now the next one. This one. This is this is tricky. The police is coming soon and the police are coming soon. So they're letting us know their scores there. Good, good, your score. Perfect, perfect. Somebody getting 30, somebody 20, 30 out of 40. Good. Now here we have the police is coming and the police are coming. A or B. Come on, let's let's see how much you. What is the answer for this one? Option A, option B. Okay, now I'm gonna keep it for here for like ten seconds. All right, we are getting A and Bs. Great, great, great. So um, this is a little bit tricky. B is and correct. can somebody write in the comments why B is correct or why A is correct? So give us the reason why. Yes, police exactly. Is police is considered a plural word, like a collective word. So nobody uses that police is coming. If they're using it's incorrect. It's answer, a collective Correct now. answer is? Police are coming. Police are coming. That's B. So B is the correct answer. Please don't use ever police is coming. So say police are coming. Okay. The correct answer is B. Yes, we have to use are, not is. Second one is the correct answer. Um, some of the, so if you use policemen, then it is uh, singular. Otherwise, police is considered 
plural. So I think most of the students know the answer. Yes. Because it's plural, it's plural, it's plural. So, yeah. If you use policemen, then it is exactly like Rupam said. Police is singular. Otherwise, policeman is uh, considered plural. plural. Policeman is singular. Exactly. And police is plural. Exactly. Yes. Um, oh. Arohika, you won again. That's great. Um, next one we have. It's interesting as well. Where I can find a cafe? Where I can find a cafe and where can I find a cafe? So here we have an interesting one. Where I can find a cafe and where can I find a cafe? <laughs> Somebody saying C. That's amazing. There's nothing like C here. We have A or B. Where I can find a cafe and where can I find a cafe? Somebody saying A, somebody saying B. Great, great, great. Okay. Uh, why is what is the correct answer? Ash gonna tell you what is the correct answer, Ash? Let them answer first. Okay, keep B going. Is correct again. B is correct again. Okay. So guys, the correct answer is B. Exactly. Where can I find a cafe? Since it's a question. Yes. Your your sentence started with where, and it's a question, so you have to put. Um, a verb next to it. Where can I find a cafe? So, so an auxiliary verb comes immediately after the question word, exactly. and then comes your main verb. So, so find find was the main. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. That's the that's the main reason, right? What about the first one? Do you think first one is a question? Ash, what do you think? The first one is not a question, actually. Yeah, it's it's just a statement that was made. Yes. So first one is a statement. That's why it's incorrect, and we have a question mark in the end. That's why. Second one is correct. Okay, great, great. Now we're going to take a pause on this activity and we're going to answer some questions, right? Uh, Mr. Seg, I'm sorry that you lost. In question, verb always comes first. That's the correct yes, rule. Yes, that's, that's the correct Good one, rule. Vijay. Good one. Now we're going to answer some of your questions and we're going to give you some tips about uh, studying, okay? Congratulations, Soeb. You have 40 score. Um, and I'm going to give you a nice website that you can use to remember vocabulary. Some of you are struggling with words. Some of you are preparing for exams. So I'm going to give you some a website that you can use to um, enhance your vocabulary, right? Um, so first of all, let your question come now. We're going to answer the questions. And uh, we'll take a break on the you know activity part. We'll do the activity in a while, OK? So Ash, you can answer the question. Okay, so Harshit is asking a question, some self-development books. So Harshit, do you mean self-help books or do you mean developing your communication? So let me know what kind of books are you asking to suggest. Mm -hmm. Then somebody asked for the tips uh, for an interview. So uh, this is my personal favorite topic, you know, in order to teach interview related skills that somebody needed. A uh, few things that you should actually remember before I tell you those skills, I have always mentioned that we have made three videos in this series. Number one, how to introduce yourself. Number two, five tips you need for an interview and how to develop your confidence. So the link will always be there in the description of this video as well, as well as in the video itself. So uh, two things that you remember, always carry your resume with you because you know in there, they don't want you to be empty handed. Mm -hmm. And number two, no matter what your speech looks like, no matter how do you sound, always be confident. You know, don't show the, your nervousness to them. And to get more tips on this, please visit the video first and let me know in the comment section if you need anything else. Okay, now somebody was asking us how much did you... I think Mridula keep asking us how much did we get in IELTS. So um, I have written IELTS previously like five to six years ago. At that time, I didn't get much. I just got 6.5. Now, when I wrote IELTS again, I got eight bands. So that was long time ago when I was planning to go to Germany. So that was a time when I didn't know English. So this is one thing I can tell you with practice, you can reach from 6.5 to 8 easily. Abhijit, okay. you are asking a question about modal. So I hope it is clear, Mrudula, now. Yes. Can, could, shall, should, will, would. All these videos have been already created. So the link will again go in this video. Also, we have given the same link in the live class number two. Yes. So please visit that video for the links. All the videos are there on the channel. Already. Okay, we have a question from uh, Piyush. Uh, Piyush says that what is the difference between though and although? Uh, Piyush, I would like to tell you there's no difference. They're just two words. Uh, 
you know it's the same thing same meaning so please don't worry about these words though and although are the same thing there's no difference it's just two words created that way okay so you can use as an example although i wanted to attend this class but i couldn't uh, because i had some work to do mm -hmm. so you wanted to do something but you couldn't because mm -hmm. of a reason in that case you use although or though okay now um i'm going to discuss something very important right now here so first of all most of you have a single question i think some of you have if you have please uh, in the right chat yes or no all of you do want to become fluent in english right mainly for speaking you have problem with speaking right so write in the chat if you want to be fluent in english please write in the comments if all of you have the similar problem of being fluent in english yes yes you can write english you can understand english but you cannot speak in english <laughs> somebody is asking for a qualification we are not ignoring your question we'll we will answer, we'll answer that. that question okay uh, we'll we'll discuss that okay good good great so the the thing i'm going to tell you going to answer half of your questions about fluency about your words and vocabulary and all those stuff great great keep that coming and keep the likes coming as well we are not getting that many likes now 430 we people watching and still 180 likes and please invite your friends this is important what i'm going to say listen being fluent had has to do with many things okay your environment your partner your friends the material you choose the childhood you have lived so please see around okay i'll, I'll ask you a question or maybe i'll tell you a story to reach to an airport early you have to wake up early to wake up early you have to sleep early to sleep early you have to eat early see in order to do a single activity you have to do other three activities differently in order to change yourself and create a big change in your life that is to speak fluently you have to change a lot i means you have to put new efforts right that you have to make yourself clear i have to put more efforts right second thing you have to find material which is required according to you what you enjoy please don't follow everyone or every advice if i tell you read books you're not going to do that because you don't like it choose what you like don't follow everyone everyone is different like for example ash loves to read book i don't much so what i do is i watch documentaries i read articles rather than books so reading books is good but if you're not interested you will leave that in middle right ash so please don't do that choose what you love <laughs> like dieting <laughs> like yeah like that <laughs> yeah some people like dieting some people like just exercising so you know what my my point is in order to do that first of all write it down what you really like what you don't like what you don't like don't do it ever that means in english i'm talking about okay <laughs> so if you like movies watch movies understand them from the perspective of english so today's task for you right now is please write a note and tomorrow bring the note to us what do you like doing that means movies or books or just reading See, holdings somebody just said i love watching hollywood exactly. movies exactly this is what i mean navin says that um you like watching hollywood movies could be one thing you like watching uh, documentaries could be one thing you like reading articles about uh, okay i'm fond of singing R rosie you can do one thing you can read lyrics of songs there's a book written by a lady she says that you can run, learn any language by just listening to songs it's possible so my point is choose what you like otherwise you won't be interested much and without interest there's no chance you can learn um raman preet good question that you asking how can i find native <laughs> partners okay one more one more um, amazing information coming there's a website called conversation exchange you can find partners over there okay from any country let's say you want to find partners in uk you can write uh blogging is good writing is good okay you can find partners in uk us germany any country you can find please go to conversation exchange this website is free yes exactly so this website is free you can just search right now on google or maybe after the class conversation exchange and you can create a website your own account like facebook right and you can search partners over there so you can find new partners in that So most of these students over here are answering that we love watching movies we love listening to songs and 
uh, hardly anybody like reading so what you can do is actually these two habits you can inculcate in your life reading uh, watching movies and listening to songs mm-hmm. focus on the words and focus on the sentences they are using and most important thing focus on the pronunciation so somebody asks which accent is good you don't have to follow any accent right now just make sure that you know if you are following british all your pronunciation should sound like that if you are following american your pronunciation should sound like that exactly exactly okay now somebody was asking uh, two questions i'll answer here um you, your hair is amazing or your hair are amazing actually it's hair is amazing because it's a collective noun you don't say hair or hairs there's nothing like hairs okay if you have strands of hairs that is pieces then you can say hairs otherwise collectively it's hair not hairs so it's hair is amazing not hair are secondly somebody was asking about uh, writing skills i suggested you a book called style so people who want to enhance their writing in any sense scientific non scientific or let's say they want to write in blogs or even just for fun they want to write please use the book called style okay by i think william struck is the writer if i'm not wrong please search and if you want the summary of the book i have the summary i've created the summary by myself please write a mail to our email id i'm going to mention here my email id write the book uh, just write a name you know our email id learn with sam and ash at their gmail.com please write a mail to us that i want the book for writing summary will definitely provide you it will help you to enhance your reading skills i mean your writing skills okay uh, wish we speak normal accent there's nothing like we have a new accent or anything um as you would like to answer some questions sorry i was lost <laughs> um so somebody asked the question what is which is correct did you got or did you get mm-hmm. so did you get is the correct answer when you yes. use past tense or when you already have did in your sentence mm-hmm. you have to use the verb in the present form itself you cannot True. say did you got so i don't remember the name but the correct form is did you get exactly. so that's your answer and uh, what is the difference between see and watch so somebody from the audience want to answer this question what is the difference between see and watch i see you and i watch tv series exactly so when you have a keen eye or some somebody or when you are you know uh, somebody is not working properly and you see them not doing it their work properly mm-hmm. so that's how you use i see you not working properly hmm. i watch tv series i watch hollywood movies correct watching movies so that's how you you that's the difference between see and watch True. watch means when something is moving okay good now i have something to discuss as well see um you might have felt that in your life that if you know somebody did it you can do it am i right that if somebody did it in your life something if you see them doing it you feel that it is possible and then you can do it right so if you believe in that please say yes that if somebody did it in your life around you you did it as well just say yes or no in your chat that you understand me that means you need a personal motivation okay that means if you see someone normal around you that means normal student around you who did it that means you can do it as well great so because of that i'll ask ash to tell us her story how um without her degree she got fluent in english or at least better in english from a previous um life so please tell us as how the story time right how did you get better in english so that others can understand how they can get better in english okay i will complete her today's challenge don't worry um video about modals will send you definitely in the link in the description so we have that so as how did you get uh, uh, sham will complete the 30 days challenge i know it's pending for a long time that will be done don't worry about it So before I tell you my story I want to understand uh, from you guys that are you enjoying this live classes or not Yes please also mention that that's a good question So just let me know are you enjoying the classes is it going in the right direction or do you want us to do anything else for you So please let us know in the comment section right now fast Are you enjoying these classes Mhm Yes a lot Okay great we will complete the 30 day series we promise you on that can could would shweta already present in the on youtube channel 
Uh, yeah, great, 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 great. If you're enjoying why there are not many likes, right? <laughs> if you're enjoying, please um, put a like on the video, on the live stream. We want that. And you forgot that this is for um, cause. This is for COVID. You have to also donate if you can on our number. So please donate if you can. Yes, great, great. Harshika, will, when we start the French classes, we'll definitely include you. Uh, if you want to learn French, we definitely will include you in that. Harshika, please write a mail to us that you want to learn French, okay? So there is a question pending with me, said and told. I'll let you, I'll tell you the answer later. So as um, asked me to share my own story that how did I get fluent with this language? So uh, I really don't want to say much about it because, you know, when I tell people that I come from a farming background and my father was a farmer, nobody in my family actually speak uh, in English. So something interesting happened that, you know, you always have to find a reason. Why do you want to develop yourself? So answer make. OK, so I had that reason in my life and that was my father. And I have shared a video on that. I'll share the link there as well. You have to watch that video to understand what is the relation uh, between this language and my father. So, guys, are you listening to me or not? <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know. Do you want to hear my story or should we jump to the next section of the video? Yeah, we can do that if you... Let me know right now. Do you want me to continue the story or should we jump to the next section of the life class okay 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 all right. oh, absolutely yes i'm listening okay you were listening i thought you were okay please listening. go ahead okay so as i was saying please find a reason in your life like i had and that person in my life actually pushed me so much towards this language and there used to be a situation in my house where he will ask me to sit and talk in english mm -hmm. he won't understand a single word he doesn't understand English at all, but still he'll ask me to sit and listen. So I knew that he won't judge me. I knew that he doesn't understand. So anything I can say, it's fine. So I used to say anything or everything that comes to my mind. Every sentence I was saying was broken. Not even a single sentence was correct. I don't know what I was talking about. But still, you know, that person happiness on his face was remarkable. So that actually made me, you know, focus on this language more and... I actually surrounded myself with a lot of people who can talk in English. So when I went to my graduation, I started talking to my roommates, my teachers, my mess people, everybody in English. And some people say that we don't find an environment to speak in English. Guys, in order to find an environment, you don't actually need fluent people all the time around you. You can start with small sentences, as I always say. Talk to people in supermarkets. You know, can I get this stuff? What is the cost of this stuff? Ask questions to them. And again, then, you know, this uh, story went on for four years. And then I started developing this. Uh, I developed this habit of uh, uh, reading books somehow. Uh, you won't remember, you, you won't believe the first book I read was Chetan Bhagat. <laughs> and I actually think about it. Okay, Webov, there is no need to, you know, abuse us right now. If you're not enjoying it, you can definitely leave the class. No worries about it. Um, Webber is asking about accent. Webber, uh, I think, is about accent. No, you need, you need not to answer that guy. Webber, please, if you are annoyed, leave the class right now. I don't mind that. And moving on, so uh, we'll jump to the class now and we'll get back to my story later on. Never mind. Okay, so uh, we got a shout out. Um, I think it's just give me a second. Yes, it's from um, Ali Azar. Ali Azar uh, for 100 rupees. Thank you so much, Ali Azar, for this donation. That's great. You are doing a great uh, job. Okay, so uh, the story actually taught us something. You just need a reason. Everything else comes in order. Okay, some people are asking about our accent. There's nothing like an accent. We are just speaking the way we are. Actually, we also get influence from others. That's why you there might be some change. So you also can develop that just love something just follow something that's that that you should do okay um arundeep I, I didn't get your question arundeep can you please repeat it again somebody asked a question having said that what is the meaning of having said that ash no, you... can you please continue that okay sorry. so um sorry no 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 okay we have um 
So, ma'am continued and she uh, ended. Guys, we'll continue that later. Let's jump to the next question. The next question is here. Okay, we have a question. Do you like? Do you like a glass of water? And would you like a glass of water? Do you like a glass of water, or would you like to glass of water? What do you think is which one is correct? Okay. All right. Somebody saying A. Somebody B. Yes. Go on, please. Keep answering. Uh, Raj, we speak normal accent. There's nothing like any accent. This is normal Indian standard accent. Okay. All right. So we have. What is the answer here, Ash? Um. So the question was, do you like a glass of water? Mm -hmm. Option B was, would you like a glass of water? Now, I want to ask you, are you requesting someone or are you ordering someone? Mm -hmm. So the correct answer is B. Exactly. When you want to request someone, when you want to offer something to someone, you say, would you like a glass of water? Mm. Would you like to come with me? Or would you like to watch a movie with me? So whenever there is a request or you want to offer something you will always say would you like exactly so the correct answer would you like do you like that means something that means you like uh, do you like playing games do you like reading books so that is do you like that comes in that category would you like is a request that means you won't like as said as somebody people some people are um asking you upset do you want to continue the story Please go ahead. People are asking for your story. Do you want to? Uh, guys, please don't mind me. Uh, we'll continue the story later. Let's focus on these questions yes, now. Yes, exactly. We'll focus on questions. Just for one more question we have. Uh, yes. Perfect. You were, you were right. Okay. Next one we have. This is interesting. Okay. Short one here. I didn't meet nobody. I didn't meet anybody. I didn't meet nobody. I didn't meet anybody. Which one is the correct answer? So here. Please go ahead. Write your answers. I didn't meet nobody and I didn't meet anybody. Some people are spamming A. Some they are saying A, B. Good. Keep it going. Come on. You can write the answer here. All right, I'm going to keep it here for 30 more seconds. Then you can answer. So let's see what's the correct answer. OK, so the correct answer is I didn't meet anybody. The correct answer is B. The reason for that is cannot be A because there are two negations. I didn't meet nobody means it becomes you meet many people. I didn't meet anybody. That means you didn't meet anyone. There are two negatives in the first answer. That's why it's incorrect. The second one is the correct answer. OK, anybody is the correct or anyone you can even say. Anyone is also correct. Anybody is also correct. But the first one is incorrect. A is incorrect. B is the correct answer. Good, good, good. All right, so um, we'll, we'll show you one more question, I guess. This is good. The, OK, this is interesting. Oh, thank you. If you think that we are doing great job, you're also doing great job by studying yourself. You're going to make one day yourself and your parents proud. That's what important. Nothing else is important. Everything bad or everything going south will be forgotten. What will be remembered is you creating a name for yourself. That's what we want from you. Uh, so somebody is asking, how many words do I need to know to learn English? That's a good question. Uh, to be frank, you don't have to count them. <laughs> so uh, the the most of the conversation that we are doing, we are hardly using 500 to 1,000 words. Yes. So our communication revolves around those 1,000 or 500 words. Mm -hmm. We have already given the uh, video. We have already given the link or to download these 500,000 words. So there is a small activity, guys, which you can do. Once you get this list, uh, make sentences. Make sentence from each of the word that is there in that list. So that will actually give you a hold of these thousand words. Yes. And believe me, in these in this list, most of the words are very simple, like is, am, I, uh, cup, water. So you start using these thousand words, and I think that will be enough to have a good communication skill. 
somebody is asking you to smile now <laughs> she is smiling all right um next question then we'll discuss something important okay how you can study properly now here is the question this is a little bit long so i'll give you time the the question on the top is you can read it here the boy which i cannot read it the boy which plays the piano is not coming today and the boy who plays the piano is not coming today so a or b a or b yeah cool dude we we'll discuss phrasal verbs for sure here we have question the boy which plays a piano is not coming today the boy who plays the piano is not coming today a or b please uh, it's okay you're not late nobody is late still we have almost half an hour remaining for the class or less than 25 minutes um keep going please yes now um why do you think b is the correct answer please answer this why do you think b is the correct answer in this case okay all right so b is the correct answer because who exactly somebody said who is the person we cannot say which which is used for multiple things okay and when we have options so who is the correct answer because boy is a person here okay boy is a person so that's a correct answer um somebody was asking about um words so i'll tell you one thing your 90% of your communication happens between all everyday commun communication 33000 words that's it and all the words you already know is just you have to remember them you have to recall them okay because you're not using them every day you tend to forget them so please use those 3000 words i have already uh, created a pdf and in the first video i think we have link yeah we have link in the live class 2 live class 2 we have the link for 5000 words so please watch them you can see so them so is it live class 2 for 100 and 1000 words uh visit live class 3 yes. for 5000 words exactly somebody said which is used for things which is used for things um yeah exactly which means which color would you like to choose uh, choose navin you are right that's the correct answer now um i would like to also discuss one more thing which is important see um if you are right now in a situation that you cannot study properly or let's say you cannot speak fluently there might be an incident that might have happened in your life or might be uh, some incident that in your past when you were a kid or maybe you were an adult you couldn't cope up with from that okay right now it's the best time to cope up from that because we have a community here we have support of each other so if you have trouble please feel free to create uh, to let us know if you have a trouble of any kind write us a mail we'll definitely help you in that trouble if we can sometime So guys we have received um, in these 3 days almost more than 50 emails mm -hmm. and we have answered all your uh, questions or queries that you had with us so if you have more questions more doubts for us please write an email to us that will mm -hmm. be an easy way to get in connect with us we'll answer every question that you have even if it's small or you know a complicated question mm -hmm. we'll answer that over the email so feel free to drop us an email on our email address Okay um now you heard Ash story would you like to hear my story <laughs> right if you would like to hear my story hi uh, how i developed from 6.5 bands to speaking fluently um please write yes in the comment section and if you want to continue with Ash story please let mm -hmm. me know <laughs> okay please let me know if you want to uh, hear my story then write yes in the comments i'll tell you how i got fluent you might be you can learn that okay So um, Shubham will uh, provide the link in this video as well. Yes, Javed, it's important for us to wear black only because we don't have to think then, you know, otherwise we'll spend half of the time thinking what to wear, what not to wear. That's better for us because we just take 5 seconds to wear this, you know, clothing and we don't have to think. We don't want to waste time in thinking of other clothes. Okay? All right. Um somebody is asking for Ashman story and uh, she will definitely uh, will tell you a story after that um so what happened is earlier when i was in 12th grade i could not speak properly i used to go for allocations and debates um sometimes i used to win because others were not that good that's why i knew that though uh but when i appeared for my exams to go to germany i figured out i am not that good in english right 
still it didn't come to my mind that i can speak english when i lived in europe see this is something there's no um, mystery in here so when i lived in europe i had to live with europeans there was no choice i was forced to speak in english one day after 6 months i was giving a seminar in in one of the subjects and i realized i can speak fluently my team was pushing me can you please speak we'll prepare for you okay they keep saying that um, you speak we'll do the research you become the speaker and on that day i realized the reason i could speak is i practiced a lot with the people who can speak right and i was doing my it and i was into different field but i realized i'm good at this why don't i do something so please remember one more thing please do what you are good at and what others think you are good at okay just don't jump on thing because of passion passion doesn't mean that you're good at it if you're good at it you will develop to a higher level so when i came back to india because i wanted to just teach or do something in english i i saw that my speech was fluent already because of the native speakers around me so that's why i keep saying all the time please cover yourself surround yourself with english somehow and you know definitely in the end within 6 months you will be fluent and keep that attitude also one more thing you can and you will all right i hope you uh, understood the story so that um is yeah, somebody saying ma'am smile please right <laughs> okay um so please from today onwards take uh, take an oath that i will surround myself in english because that's a goal right that's a goal simply only that you want to learn english surround yourself in english everything around you should be in english people around you who don't speak english or let's say who encourage you not to speak in english kick them out you want positive people around you never keep negative people around you um guys we live in india we live in india and we are indians okay so we Yes. our nationality is indian and we stay in india itself so we are not staying out of india yes. i have never been out of india so everything that i learned is from here itself <laughs> so don't keep uh, yeah startweb is a good website and please as i said that keep negative people away from you who say that you cannot learn because they cannot always listen to positive people and always surround yourself with good content there's no way that you will fail it might take time because you are starting a little bit late that's okay but taking time is not a failure it's always good one day you will realize you made yourself proud right uh javed we um, live in karnataka right now but we are not from karnataka itself uh, we'll make a full video about our life how we live as youtubers how our life is how we reach here and all those stuff one day you will enjoy the story yeah um uh yes i'm smiling um sujata i think i'm always smiling right So um would you like to hear next question? Yeah, let's. Yeah? Let's do that. Okay, we have next question. Uh thank you Pramod. Uh we have next question coming as I would like to hear. Sir, are you physical trainer? <laughs> no, I'm not physical trainer. I just love exercising. Okay, so let's see the next question. My flight departs in 10 a.m. Option B, my flight departs at 10 a.m. So I'll keep the post over here. Pick your answer, option A or B. Mm-hmm. So let's let me see the answers. I will show it again because uh, you need to see and uh, correct the answers. So here we go. So let us know the answer as well as the reason why mm-hmm. option B or A, which one is correct and why. So please so, let us know what is the correct answer. Most of the people are giving me B is the right option. B is the right option. B B B. So that's correct. The yes. option B is correct. My flight departs at ten a.m. Exactly. So whenever you have time, you have to mention at. Yes. At is a preposition, and in order to give time, or when you have exact time, you always say at. Mm-hmm. So the there are three prepositions that you use mo- uh, often in. time related situations like in at and on yes so whenever you have a year or a month in 1994 in the month of june you always True. use in and then when you have on so you use for days like monday tuesday mm-hmm. wednesday you say on monday on tuesday on wednesday and whenever you have time you will use at at 4 pm at 6 pm something like that exactly now i have 
something to say uh we apologize that we cannot answer all your questions i see there are like 100 questions coming within a minute so please don't be offended it's nothing against you it's just many question coming we are trying so many things at the same time we are trying to so answer so many questions so we apologize if we could not answer your question if you could not uh, if we could not then please write a mail to us let me write a mail to you uh narin the session starts every day at 4 o'clock uh, indian standard time 4 yes, pm team. yes so somebody scored 60 that's good that's good if you scored 60 and uh, please accept our apologies that we can answer cannot answer all the um, we cannot speak kannada we only speak few words here in sulpa, asia sulpa sulpa you know we can speak <laughs> we cannot sulpa barte yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, we don't only that much it's it's a great language honestly speaking but um it's taking us time to learn right so um okay one more question i would like to ask everyone please write in the comments instantly okay where we are from actually i will tell you in a while how many languages do you speak okay i'm going to ask you this question again how many languages do you speak please write in the comment how many languages do you speak Raj, no. congratulations! You scored full. We That's can't great. speak Telugu as well. No Telugu. Uh, we Canada. have two, three, two, three, three, two. Good, good. Keep it going. Three, two, two, three. Good, good. Three, nice. Somebody with four. Yeah, we have five as well. We have four, four, three, two. Good. One, three, two. Good. Um, seven. Seven. Wow, that's that's some big number. Seven, right? um 70 somebody said oh that's the score oh, sorry so <laughs> we have four three two seven even one great 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 uh that's that's great if you can speak seven languages now i have a question here how were you able to speak three languages when your mother tongue could be just one think it yourself sit today how did you speak three languages or four languages and you're worried about english your mother tongue could be hindi gujarati marathi kannada anything right and you're speaking four languages you're getting my point oh somebody saying nine that's great <laughs> <laughs> so so you got my question please sit today alone and think how could you know that or learn that language and apply that to yourself you know that how did you learn that and use it in english exactly somebody said by practice or there might be other things that you can write down by yourself right yeah now when somebody said 10 uh, 10000 that's amazing right that person should be awarded maybe you know <laughs> okay great 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 i uh, i think we have finished all the questions here uh, but will tomorrow definitely there are more exercises coming so don't connect and yes yeah, still 515 concurrent viewers and 488 likes please ask your friends to join and please um yes english is different uh, rahi or uh, correct english is different but i think like different is just we don't have many native speakers around us that's the problem okay um our mother tongue is hindi guys yes our mother tongue is hindi we speak hindi at home and english with you guys and everywhere else um important things are coming please don't leave the stream and ask your friends to coming in the end 5 minutes will give you some great tips i'll give you a website in fact i'm going to give you in 2 minutes right now um as story they want to complete if you can complete uh she'll complete it tomorrow right um uh, maybe she I'm, i'm really apologetic for that sorry guys uh, yes not feeling that well today so uh, i'll continue my story some other day i promise yes. you that um where to donate please so guys uh, we have a number on paytm and google pay it's 9743955283 this number is on google pay and um phone pay yes so you can transfer the amount to this number unknown vlogs welcome from nepal and somebody said please take a nap after uh, this <laughs> we have uh, i think jignesh says that please have a nap yes uh, see with um yes we are making javed uh, grammatical mistake things uh, because um it's important we know and we are planning for a good series for uh, grammatical things uh please don't leave the series because uh, i think so somebody has a very relevant question javed itself do you make grammatical mistakes or not actually we do we do a yes, lot of do. Time, time we do make uh, yes. grammatical mistakes i had a problem of three mistakes that were so relevant and you know i was making them so often i never realized mm -hmm. and you know sam corrected me on that 
so i used to make lot of grammatical mistakes though i was fluent and nobody ever questioned me but the moment i was aware of the rule the moment i was aware that i was doing that mistake i stopped doing it so it's okay to make grammatical mistake that has nothing to do with your fluency guys uh, but the moment you realize that that was a mistake make sure that you don't do it again so email id is learn with sam and ash at the gmail.com okay i have another question please uh, focus here and ask your friends to come important things coming two important things uh, uh, email id is learn with sam and ash at the gmail.com how many of you want to know how long it takes to learn english how many of you want to know how long does it take to know uh, english or learn english or speak english fluently okay how many of you know want to want to know the duration of learning english i repeat again so please write in the comments if you know want to know the duration good 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 keep going yes yeah, somebody saying 5 years 1 month i want to know tell me okay good okay i'll tell you direct example 60 days you're saying you know we are two different people right from two different backgrounds that's why it took us two different time durations it depends on your surrounding it depends on many things but an average if you practice every day for at least 2 hours a day i, I repeat 2 hours a day every day 3 months you will be fluent for sure if you are being serious and honest to yourself 3 months is a good time to prepare or let's say speak properly compared to your last time okay but you have to be honest to yourself that you are doing justice to english as well as to you okay exactly it depends on practice but i'm saying i'm giving a number 3 months and every day 2 hours is a good number don't let it go continue it every day yes exactly good good this should be the right um, attitude we will continue until we get fluent we will be with you till the end until you become fluent the channel not going to stop the live class is not going to stop until uh, this covid and if you want us to continue the live classes please also uh, write us an email that you want this live classes to continue uh, we'll continue these live classes for you okay we want you to be fluent we want you to learn english that's our main goal one day when we understand that you have learned english we will feel immense pleasure trust me we will be very happy okay uh jignesh i'm focusing more on pronunciation part is it worth doing it is actually it worth it is really doing. important jignesh that's a good question it is important okay last thing uh then ash can give you some advices the website the website which we need okay website which we need to learn words is called memorize okay if you don't know the website please search on google it's memorize m e m r i s e i think that's the right spelling just for sure to make sure i'll search it memorize is the good website where you can search words and you can get a lot of um let me when let me search for the memorize this is the website you can search on google um Rahi, thank you. If the, your classes are helping us, that makes us feel good. Memorize is the website that you can search, and you can find a lot of words over there, and uh, you will learn a lot from this website. It has a lot of flip uh, cards and stuff. If you are preparing for your uh, interview, if preparing for any exam, this could be the best website for you. Okay. Um, so uh, I would like to ask uh, Ash to tell you how many playlists we are running right now on YouTube, and can you tell us about that? <laughs> Ashu, <laughs> who gave you this name of mine? <laughs> so uh, we have a a playlist for I L I L T S. Yes. Complete playlist for I L T S. Then we have a playlist for spoken English, thirty days challenge. Yes. We have a playlist for vocabulary. Mm -hmm. We have a playlist for uh, grammar uh, English well. grammar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a vlog. I mean, not many videos have been put in that, but yeah, we have two to three videos in the vlogs that we have created for English. Okay. Yeah. So our main series is like you were asking about thirty day series. Um, thirty day series will be over soon. We were waiting for the COVID to. We'll post definitely one video in this week. Uh, our main motive right now is because you guys are sitting at home. You must be bored. Okay. You must be bored like hell. I know. Second thing, you have a lot of time to prepare. So this, uh, we thought this live class could help you in this time when you're bored as well as you have time. So please use this time uh, generously. I'm not saying don't use it for fun. Please enjoy it as well. Play PUBG. Go out. Not go out. I mean, go in with friends, like family. Enjoy with family. Don't go out. Right. Um, 
sorry we cannot tell you full name right now we'll tell you eventually that like i said it's a challenge if you become fluent one day we'll definitely tell you the name but you have to write a mail in proper english to us that i am fluent i can speak english that day we'll tell you our full name full details you know we can maybe have a nice meet one day you are fluent so guys these live classes are going to continue uh, for another 15 mm -hmm. 20 days nothing okay. to worry about that mm -hmm. Okay, uh, last request from all of you. A last request: Can you please write in the description what video do you want next? Hmm. Right. This is important. Uh, yeah, police. There are police outside. <laughs> right. Yes, that's a good usage. There are police outside. Um, this is our um, request from you, uh, from even Ash. She was asking me to do that. Please write in the comments what videos do you want from next time. Yeah, challenge accepted. Great, great, great. That's good. That's what I want. Some um, people who want to accept a challenge and run, uh, and learn from that. Uh, all modal warps. You want videos? Please write in the comments. What is the video? Do you want? Um, Inia, we will tell you everything about ourselves in the coming videos. Please, let's work on our um, right now live class. Uh, we want for grammar, phrasal verbs, vocabulary, tenses, grammar. We'll continue the live classes for sure. Um, Sangot uh, will I, I don't know how to pronounce that phrasal verbs vocabulary um, grammar vocabulary grammar part good challenge okay challenge accepted good that's good uh, Hindi sessions yes we can have um, from tomorrow we'll plan for 15 minutes of Hindi sessions in the end if you are willing you can say that's okay um, confidence for speaking English that's a good that's a good thing how to overcome fear of speaking English that's a good thing see. Um, whatever you're writing here in the comments, we will mention in our video that this person asked us to make a video on this, isn't it? So Ash, would you like to share some light on this? Okay. <laughs> It's okay. I'll tell you one thing. If you're writing in here, we'll write in the comments and in the video as well. These people ask us to make videos on this. That's why we made it. So please mention in the live chat that you want us to make videos on something. You will be in the video for sure. Your name will be on the video and it's important for us and you. That means you wanted it and we provided it. Sentence formation, good one. Um, every session, every day we have session at four o'clock. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Every day we will have a session of four o'clock. Uh, grammar. Uh, in tomorrow's class, we'll discuss three months strategy as well. Yes. So the time limit that we gave is three months. So we'll mm -hmm. plan three months accordingly. Okay. So can you just tell talk more about this? How will be how we we'll working on this? No, we'll do that. In okay. Class. So, um, so like she said, we will have a full strategy, a full chart using a PDF as well. You can receive the PDF after the class tomorrow. How we'll be learning English in three days? Oh, sorry, three months. Okay, everyday task for two hours. What book to use? What website to use? What app to use? Complete three day plan we'll provide in tomorrow's class. So don't forget to miss tomorrow's class. Ask your friends, family to join. Um, you know, that will be a great thing. And don't forget it is for a cause. Don't forget to donate for the people who need it. Right? A Hindi class tomorrow time, Ankush would be after the after like uh, 4.45, 15 minutes would be for Hindi class. That is okay. Uh, to... No, it's not Ashwini. It's not. It's not. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow, four o'clock. AK, that's the correct uh, that you said, right? Tomorrow, four o'clock, we will have a class. Um, yes, we will work on competitive exams as well. Please write, keep writing. Um, thank you, Azmat, that we are doing a great job. You are doing a great job as well, uh, that you are letting us know what do you want. And you also are helping others by asking your doubts, isn't it? So when you ask doubt, others don't have to ask doubt. They are helping. You know, they are being helped. Uh, no, no, that's not three days. That's three months. I said it by mistake, I guess. Right. Uh, don't forget to please. Uh, um, yeah, guys. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm so sorry <laughs> for that. Uh, little tired, guys. I'm really sorry that I might have just, you know, made this... it a little awkward for you for this session. So I'm really apologetic for that. Uh, thank you. And Marcy. guys, as I said, uh, please share our videos with somebody you think might need them. Yes. Ask your friends to join this live class. Maybe for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they can learn something from us. Mm. And 
every day we'll come up with something exciting we'll come up with the topics that you have asked in these comment section mm -hmm. also it's about to log out so why don't you give us a thumbs up again yes Just increase the lives like in the first day we had 1000 likes so why are those likes not coming today <laughs> yes um uh, we are glad that you like this class today like i said and please like this um videos and you know our number where to donate uh, and where to ask questions as well you have email id um if you have any question please ask there we'll we'll shout out your name that this person asked this question and we will answer that question all right so um yes this is all free classes there's no nothing to pay for that is this if you want you can donate for covid relief there's nothing about um there's nothing to pay please keep the likes coming please ask your friend to watch this series this is important for you and us both of us um yes um venkata if you have any question please write in the email id we have provided uh please understand that we cannot answer all the questions in one go okay if you have any problem please write in the comments uh, or or in the in the email id right so guys all the links will be given and this video will be on the channel by tomorrow yes so you can watch it practice and share it with someone who needs and also increase our subscribers guys <laughs> let's let's achieve 1 million soon we need your help uh, molly sir you have something to say please write it here we'll definitely respond tomorrow or today okay okay guys we'll um, log off sorry, now sorry we have to log off now we'll meet tomorrow again it's not over we will mock okay bye 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 everyone have a nice time and keep learning